okay so let's create data for just two customers we have already created Walmart in the previous example so we'll create two more customers Target and Best Buy Acon T is the recon account so I'm gonna put in 14 000, 000, same account for both of them civilian or military use is X which is yes L zone which is a transportation zone is going to be 0000001 Houston SPRAS is a language which is English land one is a country which is US PSTLZ is the zip code I'm gonna put in 08810 and ART01 is a city I'm gonna put in Miami Strass is the address, the 100 Jefferson Drive. Sortel is a search term. The first customer I'm going to create is Target. So I'm going to say Target, and the name is going to be Target Inc. KTOCD is the customer account group, which is a sold to in our case. So I'm going to put 0001, and Booker's B U K R S is the company code. So we are creating customers in the company code 1000. My second row is for the customer Best Buy. My recon account is the same. Civilian military use is X. Transportation zone is 0001. Language is English. Country of course is US. And zip code let's say is 98076. I'm just giving some random number. And the city is let's say uh, Chicago. And the street is Vanilla Avenue. And Sortel is the search term for Best Buy customer. So we're going to put in Best Buy. And the name of this customer is Best Buy in Customer Account Group 0001 and Company Code is 1000. There can be as many rows as you want, virtually unlimited. So, you, so let's save this Excel spreadsheet as a comma separated file or a CSV file. Now I have opened this file in a simple text editor. This is how the file is going to look. The first row is columns of the customer data and the rest of the rows represent the data that go against those columns. So I'm going to give this file as the source of data on my SAP GUI frontend when I specify the file. Let me go back to my SAP GUI, go to the specify files section execute it and select the first option which is legacy data on the PC front end and click on the change button and click on the new button and go to the file option and it will open up your file system just go and pick your file so my file is on the desktop so I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up customers.csv it's on my desktop and click open. I'm going to give it a name customer underscore fin which means financial data of the customer and the data is from one source table select the first option and select the delimiter as a comma in this case because we created the file as a comma separated file or a CSV so you choose this option if you export your file from Excel as a CSV if you export the data from your Excel as a tab delimited file, you choose this option. And in the next section, file structure, there are a couple of options. The first option is field names at the start of the file. Is that correct? Well, our field names are at the start of the file. So, yes, you got to check that option. And the second option is field order matches source structure definition. You can choose this if you are absolutely sure that order in which you have created those columns or rows is exactly same as the source structure. We copied it from the source structure, remember? We copied all the rows from the source structure and transposed them as columns in our Excel. So yes, this can also be checked on. And you can just click OK. All right, so click on the Save button and go back. The next step is Assign the files. So just select Assign files and click OK. And if there is only one file that's associated with this LSMW, 
you don't have to do anything here it will automatically be associated with the source structure as you can see the cust underscore fin source structure is automatically assigned to the file users blah 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 and then customers.csv the one that you have just uploaded so we don't really have to do anything here go back and click on read data and click on the execute button now this is the step where sap is trying to read the file that you've just uploaded there are some options here we're going to come back to that in a moment so just click execute and the system says that it has read two records there were three rows in that excel if you remember but it only reads two records because the first row is the column details like acon t or ktalk d the technical names starting from the second row we had two rows first row was walmart and the second row or first row was target and the second row was best buy so it says that it has read two rows so that means that the file has been uploaded properly at least in terms of the number of records good now go back and this option over here is useful if the data file is very large meaning let's say there are 60,000 records or 10,000 records like our project example but every time you want to read it and test it maybe you don't want to upload all those rows together in one go because if there are 10,000 rows or 60,000 rows if you start uploading all the data together in one shot um, the problem there could be let's say during row number uh, 5600 something went wrong y you don't know what went wrong right so if you're trying to run this in in a debug mode or if you're trying to do it in a step-by-step -step fashion you could just ask lsmw to import data from row number one through to let's say row number 5000 and the rest of the 5000 rows could be read in the next step well, if you want to use it you can use it but if you don't want to use it by default lsmw reads all the data in that excel so we are done with this step go back display red data click on execute and again you have an option to select the line numbers but in this case we only have two rows so we just click okay these are the rows that have been uploaded right one four zero 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 and then x and then blah 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 whatever so go back and the next step is convert data you see things are going very fast during the running of lsmw the design step was very cumbersome yes things took like you know 20 minutes 30 minutes because this was a simple example if you were trying to do a more complicated example yeah now it could take a couple of hours or maybe days which is fine absolutely fine but the running part of it is pretty fast you don't have to really think a lot as long as you got your data files right and the design right it goes pretty smooth click on the convert data step and click on the execute button this is a step that doesn't have a lot of output for you again you can do it in terms of number of rows or we select everything by default click OK it says that it has read and converted two records okay that's fine now this conversion process is a necessary step where the mapping that we have discussed in step number five is happening now even though you don't have any conversions or custom routines written there you would still have to do that conversion because after you read the data the data is being converted and loaded into the source structure okay so this is a necessary step that you would have to do so it's not going to be any different from the previous two steps so just bear with me i'm going to click on this display converted data and then click execute again click ok now make sure that all your rows are green because if they're not green then there's something wrong in there okay and double click one of these rows and make sure that the data is right so is it fd01 is it 1000 is it 0001 maybe sometimes fields could get truncated because if you see excel has this nasty habit of uh, truncating 0001 to 1 because unless you specify that that column is a text column it will just truncate all the leading zeros nasty right so same thing with this so this could be truncated as 8810 with the zero gone that's how excel does it well it's got its own reasons but make sure that all the columns 
that you specify except for currency maybe are formatted as text that way you preserve all the leading zeros okay that's one example there could be many other examples where you would want to check your finally converted data and make sure at least you take a couple of samples if there are like many thousands of records just take a couple of samples make sure things are okay go back go back the next step is the create batch input session things get a little interesting from this step so select that step and click on execute and just execute this transaction and a pop-up comes up that says one batch input folder with two transactions created remember we had two rows in our excel right so two transactions were created they are not created yet but they have been queued up to be created by lsmw so where are they queued up they are queued up in a transaction called SM35. This is where batch processes are queued up. So LSMW has queued up these transactions to be executed as a batch in SM35. So you don't need to go to SM35, you can run it directly from here. So select the last step, run batch input session, and then click on the execute button and you got your session here select your session which is the batch process that has been queued up to be executed and if you look at the transactions column you see that the number is two here that means this session executes two transactions and also gives you some other details like uh, who is the author when is the date was created so on and so forth so select your session and click on process button and this little pop-up comes up which shows you a couple of options if you're doing it for the first time i suggest that you do it in background and click on process okay so sap goes and executes it and if there is anything wrong or anything that's missing you would see that the errors column over here shows if how many transactions have errored out and the check mark column over here shows you how many rows have how many transactions have been successfully processed okay in terms of the if there are more than one batch processes you can go to the processed or incorrect folder and typically any batch processes that have failed would be listed there okay let's try and see if our customers have been created i'm going to open another window vd03 and then click on search and say best buy that's the name of my customer right so is there a best buy that has been created oops doesn't look like it so that means that my customer best buy has not been created let's try and look for the other customer target star the star is just a wild character that i'm using to search for all customers that are beginning with target it could be in or it could be whatever search for it no it doesn't have any it says no values of the selection so something is wrong we don't know what's wrong but the customers have not been created okay, let's see what's going wrong here let's go back to our lsmw and select the batch input session button again and click on the execute button and there you go you see that this process that has been scheduled as a batch has actually failed because I, I i could see that because you know i see this red button here that says failed the red column over here says that two of the transactions have failed how do i analyze where things have gone wrong just double click that batch job and you see that the status is incorrect okay and the system has created a log so click on that log tab and you see if the system has thrown up any error messages it does look like there are some error messages in this case it says uh, formatting error in field kna1l zone entry us0001 does not seem to exist in t zone okay looks like the transportation zone is not proper so let's go back to our customer master open an existing customer master say walmart one that we have created a couple of minutes ago walmart star click ok and then select our walmart guy click ok and what's the transportation zone here it's 00001 which is uh one two three four five six seven eight nine nine zeros and a one so it's total of 10 characters let's go back to our excel and see if uh, we did put in the nine characters or did we miss any characters 
So let's check the numbers digits here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. So it's a total of eight digits. So it doesn't look like it's right. I'm going to change that to the right transportation zone and save it to the same old CSV file and then try and do the same upload process again. Okay, so our customers 100214 and 100215 have been created. Let's go and check out our customers. 100215 is one customer which is Best Buy and looks like everything is right. The address, the language, the transportation zone. Yay! So we have created two customers using LSMW from a file. That's it. We are done.